I saw you were on Milo Rossi's channel, right? That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> he, yeah, uh, that's a big channel. That's I mean, really, I, it's huge. I mean, he's gets millions of viewers and it was so amazing to see. And, and, and many of his commentators, they all seem to be positive. It's so fascinating. Yeah, I've never, I mean, all the papers I've published and things I've done for the general public, I've never had a million viewers. I mean, it's just, it's mind blowing. Wow. Well, I'm so glad. I'm I'm glad that he covered you and you're and you're having positive results. And I think the same thing. I, I'm getting very positive comments on these videos. I think there's a hunger in the public for scientific content from the scientists. And it's kind of counterintuitive, but it's like the podcast phenomenon where 10, 20 years ago we talked about everyone's losing their attention span. And even today it's it's terrible. But this weird contradiction to this losing the attention span is these podcasts that are like an hour or two long are are growing people want to hear long normal conversations it seems to be fine despite the fact that we think our attention spans are really short and uh, we just need people to be able to be willing to do it and i think the future of science communication is going to be a combination of publication and social media or content creation if you want to communicate your findings to the public Otherwise, you're going to rely on someone to take your paper, your chapters, and then make their own content with it and, and probably do it in a way maybe, and probably do it in a way you wouldn't want to see it done. So if you just get the chance to do it yourself, I think we're, it's, it's better off that way. But how, so that's awesome. You got to meet Milo. He is uh, definitely a, partly an inspiration for this channel in a way. That's great. So, so cool. And I'm, and I'm actually now collaborating with YouTube creators. And um, I worked with Northo 2 channel on doing some paleo archaeo metallurgy work up in Michigan last summer. And that video has a half million views and it came out a month or two ago. And it's like a pretty highly technical, I went through the script, made sure he didn't say anything wrong or too outrageous, did a really nice YouTube video and blew up. I, and same thing, I've never could think that old copper complex metallurgy around Lake Superior would be interesting for so many people, but all the comments were, I've never heard about this. No one's ever talked about this. I'm piqued in interest and all this stuff. Then I noticed when the video came out, my research gate downloads for that paper spiked. So people then just went out and started downloading the paper. 